Welcome back. Today we're doing a couple of projects that are not only fun, but they're also educational. Joining us now is our craft expert, Jennifer Ackerman Haywood from the Grand Rapids Press and CraftSanity.com. Jennifer, thanks for being with us. Yeah, it's great to be here. Now, I really think that making crafts is one of the best avenues to teaching kids to learn. You know well, what I mean? Because it, it makes it fun for them, and that's really how you got to get to draw them into to learn. Yeah, and it's a great way to kind of trick them into learning because yes, they're yes. having fun so they don't realize that they're learning. Yeah, so it's not yeah. like this overt message. So, yeah. Well, I um, interviewed interviewed Sally Berry from Turning Pages, the Grand Rapids Reading Institute. Okay. For Sunday's Art and Craft column, she contacted me about some really cool stuff that she's been doing with just strategies to teach kids to read. And so I'm going to show you some of those ideas Very today. Cool. The first one that we're going to start with here, as I went over to, um, you can find old books, the library weeds out books, um, if they become obsolete or just damaged. Yeah. And they're in their book sale, or you can get your own books from your own shelf that might have broken bindings sure, or lots whatever. Sure, have old books laying around. This this was a Christmas in <coughs> France book that was very dated. Okay, so there's some, as you can see, it's pretty old. And the binding is not, I mean, it's kind of broken. Yeah. And most people would say, okay, this is for the recycle bin, but no, it's not. Um, what we can do, I'm making a book here with my daughters. Um, this is called Fall, it's just for the seasons. Okay. Taking scrapbooking materials and these great little sticky backed letters. Yeah, yeah. So you have, um, this is just scrapbooking paper, you write out the word pumpkin, they learn the word pumpkin, they can trace it, um, and just kind of going through fall, okay. leaves, turkey, you know, and we're going to keep adding. Just anything that falls under the fall category. Yeah, very cool. Here. So that's just a way to recycle a book. Okay, moving on. If you want to work on your child's handwriting, these sleeves you get from the office supply store, just a plastic sleeve. Yep, yep. And then if you go on, this one I found at uh, handwritingforkids.com, you can put your child's name in here so they can, it'll print out a sheet for you. Oh, how cute. Um, and so what you do here is you can give your child a dry erase marker and they can trace, I don't know if they can see this, so that they can trace just the words on here and then made a little eraser out of, I like to make these little peg people with my kids. And yeah, this those is just are a cute. piece of felt on here. And then they can erase. It's like their own little dry erase board. It's a dry erase board. Very and they can start cool. over. Oh, and, and it's just, you don't waste paper and they can keep practicing. Okay. Um, also, this is a piece of cardboard wrapped in tin foil. Easy enough. Yes. Yeah. And again, this is a dry erase. I'm trying to teach your children, oops. You know, <laughs> it's hard to write that way. So we're teaching them, you know, the word dog. Um, you can have them then again. Um, and you can actually, Sally likes to make these with a block. You can glue this on and then do the same thing. Just kind of use toys that are laying around the house yeah, and just put yeah, that and just felt on the bottom And then of it. that erases and you're good to go. Yeah. Um, the next thing down here is I took a chalkboard. I'm, I'm sorry, okay. I made a chalkboard out of, out of a, just a clipboard. Clipboard, okay. Okay, so you just get this spray paint. They have, it's readily available now. It's chalkboard paint. Okay. And then just spray the chalkboard and then your child can use this in the car. This is a really cool thing that they can have, use it as a writing surface okay. with a piece of paper, or you know they can write on here and then take a piece of paper, um, piece of wood, and then you have the felt right yeah. here. And just, again, you have your portable oh, writing surface. Yeah. The last thing is um, a felt board. I don't know if you've ever used a felt board when mm -hmm. you were a kid. Yep, I did, actually. What I did is I made a little pouch here. So there's a piece <clears> of cardboard just inside a folded over piece of felt. Okay. And then um, the idea is you can store the letters right in the pouch. And so this holds, you can, this also works with flannel, <clears throat> but you can just have your child spell out words and then they can start over again. You can also cut out little shapes yeah. and so forth. And so you probably cut out a bunch of letters so that they can yes, kind of so put together. Yeah, so they have the full, full alphabet to work with. And um, for that, you know, you're just, what I did is I just folded the piece of felt in half and then just stitched up the side okay. and back around the other way. Very and then, cool. You're good to go. Good stuff, Jennifer. Thank you as always. We appreciate it. We can find more information on our website at WZZM13.com. Just go ahead and click on those Take 5 links. Now when we come back, between Jim Carrey and George Clooney, it looks like a big week 